Hey, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today we're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to troubleshoot your strategies and alerts. The first thing we'll look at is the alert history screen. So if we click on this, this is a list of all the alerts that sent from TradingView. Here you can see each alert, the symbol that it has, and the type that it fired as. In this example, you'll see several different alerts that say NA for the symbol and NA for the type. I sent these as test alerts to show examples of how uh, alerts can fail to process in TradeLab. So let's click on this first one and see what this alert looks like. So this is the alert monitor screen. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see the raw alert that fired. Here you can see that this alert has an alert text property. Anytime you see alert text inside of an alert, that means something went wrong. Uh, this is because TradingView sent a message that TradeLab didn't understand. And so what TradeLab did is it took that entire message and it put it inside of this alert text. This allows you to see what the alert sent, uh, even though it's not going to get processed correctly. In this case, TradeLab sent just a uh, string of text, uh, a, a sentence saying pushing off key level support. And uh, we didn't recognize that, so this alert failed. On the left side of the raw alert, you can see a list of the strategies that I have. And under each strategy, you can see a list of its rules. Under each of the rules, you can see the conditions and the actions that the rule ran. In this example, since my alert failed and I didn't have a good alert processed, you can see that this um, enter short rule for this combo template tried to search for a cell uh, message. It's looking for a cell message in the alert and because the alert didn't have a um, message, it says undefined. That's going to be the same for all of my rules. So anytime you send a alert that doesn't get processed, you should expect all of your rules to fail. Okay, so let's go back and let's take a look at another example of a failed alert. This time we're going to look at an alert from David Tech. And in this alert, you'll see that it has all of the information that we expect and it should have been processed, but instead everything's in alert text, which means it failed. So why did it fail? If we scroll to the right, we can see that inside of the message, there's a take one field and the value for that field is hashtag long TP hashtag. This is actually the message that we give you to put inside of David's uh, alerts. The problem is whenever we give uh, a placeholder like this, David or whoever made the strategy is supposed to replace that placeholder with a number, sorry, with a number. Um, and because it didn't get replaced with a number, it ended up messing up the message and Trade Lab couldn't process it. So in a case like this, we'll have to go back to David's strategy and figure it out why that happened. In some cases, it could be because you need to uh, update David's strategy or whatever strategy you're using. So to do that, you would remove this indicator on TradingView and also the alert that you made. You would replace the indicator, reset up all your settings, and then reset up the alert. So that's how you would fix that. And if that doesn't fix it, then it might be a bug or something else, and you might have to contact the, the indicator creator. So now we'll go back to alert history one more time and we'll take a look at an alert that did fire and succeed. So if we take a look at this alert and scroll down, if we look at the raw alert of this one, we can see it looks a whole lot better. We don't see alert text in here and we can see all of the information that we expect from a David uh, alert. So we can see the strategy, we can see the symbol, the three take lines, we can see the take amounts, and also the type. So now that we have all of our information correctly, 
we can take a look at the rules that ran and for the short template we can see that it triggered an enter so it actually placed a trade when this uh, alert was fired let's take a look at why it placed a trade so if we click on enter short and expand this we can open up its conditions and we can see that the enter short rule ran and it ran three different conditions and they all passed so because they all passed, it ran its actions. If we scroll down, we can see all the actions that ran. This particular strategy runs quite a few actions. The first action that it runs is a play sound uh, to send a notification when this rule runs. And then it starts setting different variables. So the first thing it does is it sets the side to sell because this is a short uh, strategy. And then it sets the three take profit lines you can see that the old value for take profit one for the trade that we made previous to this was 72. And this new trade, we're setting our take profit to 66. So we're setting all of our take profits and our stop lines. We're uh, resetting a few uh, values and variables. And then at the bottom, we go ahead and place our order. So now with all of our take profit and everything set, we place our order and uh, we've opened up a trade for short. So this is an example of viewing an alert and seeing if a strategy ran uh, and what it did when this alert fired. Now, looking at alerts can be helpful. Uh, however, when we're dealing with trades, many different alerts can fire and affect a single trade. So if you look at just a single alert, that can tell you some information as to what's going on, but it may not tell you everything about a particular trade. To understand what's going on in a trade, we can head back to the My Strategy screen and we can take a look at uh, one of our strategies. Let's take a look at this long strategy. We'll click the Monitor button, and here we can see a list of all of the recent trades that uh, were placed. If we click on one of these trades and we scroll down, we can see the trade monitor screen. So the trade monitor screen has quite a bit of information on it. And at the top here is a horizontal timeline that shows uh, how the trade was opened and how it was closed. So here it gives you the alert that was sent for the trade, and then all the rules that were processed. And then it also shows you the request that was sent to the exchange. So this is exactly what Trade Lab sent. And then this is what we got back from the exchange. This information is pretty raw and usually you don't have to look at this, um, but this can help for you know more deeper troubleshooting. And if we scroll to the right, we can see the exit alert that came in. We can see the exit rules that process. And finally, we can see the uh, close request that was sent and the response of that trade getting closed. All right, so that's the timeline of what happened. Now let's take a look at what happened in the middle. So if we scroll down, we can see uh, all the different alerts just like we saw before, um, but these, instead of a list of strategies that ran, these are a list of alerts that ran for this trade, for this one strategy. So here we have the enter alert that ran and the exit alert that ran. If we want to see all of the alerts that ran in between these, even if they didn't fire any actions, we can click this all events button. And now we can see all the different rules that ran, even if they failed. And we can also see all the alerts that happened in between the open and close. You'll notice that there's quite a few alerts that happen during a trade, and many of the alerts you may not recognize because you're not sending them. This is because Trade Lab is sending alerts for you. Uh, trade Lab sends heartbeat alerts, uh, usually once every minute, sometimes a little bit faster, and these heartbeats keep your rules running uh, even when you aren't sending alerts. Just in case you have something that's comparing to the current price, or something like that, we can always have those rules running. And if anything ever does fire, um, 
you don't need to send an alert to have that happen. It, it'll, it'll fire automatically off the heartbeat. Okay, so this is a great way to look at all the different rules that ran, all the different alerts that ran during a trade and figure out what's happening and why it's happening. Okay, also on the left, uh, to the left of all this, you can see the basic information about the trade. So you can see the entry price, the exit price, you can see the order size. Um, if the trade had any issues, it'll show a uh, reason code down here and it'll also tell you the entry alert and the exit alert that fired so if we click on the entry alert this will actually take us to the alert monitor screen that we saw earlier and this is the raw alert that fired uh, to enter this trade so now let's talk about how to send test alerts trading view doesn't really allow us to send test alerts whenever we want so we could wait around for one of these to fire a alert and see if it works, or we can test it ourselves. Trade Lab allows us to send test alerts whenever we want. So we can hit the edit button to open up, say our long template. And inside the strategy builder at the top, there's a alerts tab. If you click on the alerts, here we can see a list of all the alerts that are set up for this strategy. To send a test alert, we'll click this send button right here. It'll pop up the test alert dialog and we can fill out our test message. For a quick test message, I'll go ahead and blank all of these out to zero. Uh, and then you can also change your symbol if you'd like. So I have AVAX right here, AVAX USDT. All right. And so you can also put in real uh, prices into these if you want. I just put them as zero so that uh, it's easy to test. Um, and we'll go ahead and hit send alert. All right, and then it'll take us to the alert page where you can see the alert that just sent and also see the uh, strategies that ran. So here we can see we have our long and our short strategy. And underneath, we can see each rule that ran. Since both of these strategies haven't entered a trade yet, they're both on entry mode. So they're running the entry rules. They only have one of those. It's the enter long in this case. And we can see that it ran three conditions. They all passed. So since all the conditions passed, it ran the actions. And the actions went ahead and set up our take profits. It set them to zero because that's what I entered as the uh, test alert. And then it went ahead and placed an order for us. And we got a notification earlier about an order placing. So that's how we test alerts. So now we can see that our trade is open for the long template. We can see the current profit and the current margin. And this is what it looks like when a trade is open. Our short is still looking for entry. And that's gonna wrap up the troubleshooting tutorial for Trade Lab. If you have any more questions, feel free to join us on Discord or click this help button. You can search through any of the FAQ articles or you can click create support ticket to send us a message directly. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more updates. Have a good day.